Greetings, everybody. Welcome to 10 at 10. Back after a two-week hiatus. So good to be with you. Come at you at 10 a.m. Eastern Time in Asheville, North Carolina. When you're entering, you can share where you're from. This is an interactive space. We're coming at you live on Instagram, live on Facebook. Welcome to Lisa. Welcome to Annie. Welcome to Marobia. Welcome to Uzi. Welcome to Seven Holy All the Time. Welcome everybody who's coming in. Los Angeles, excellent. LA, the city of angels, or as a friend of mine says, the city of lost angels. Hi, Moni. 3.04 p.m. Where are you at, Uzi? Nigeria. Fantastic. Akshaya. Namaste, Akshaya. I just love to create this space of this depth of presence, which is, which is the, actually the theme of our of our communication today, or of our episode today. Episode 36, by the way, I've, I've kept track of the numbers. Hi, Linda. Rochester, New York. I've been there, I think, three times. I enjoyed myself there very much. So let's just take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing is so important. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And take just a couple deep breaths whenever you're feeling stressed or scattered or disoriented, confused, anxious, angry, worried. Um, and it's, it's on the physical level, it's the greatest way to recenter, to reground into the essence of this moment. And you joining us from Chile, <clears throat> Linda from Indonesia. Instagram is really hopping here. Facebook, you got to get with you got to get with Instagram. That's where the energy's at. Um, so the title is the most important thing you and I have. What is the most important thing that you and I have? Welcome, Joanna from the UK. What is the most important thing that we have? What is the most important thing that I have? So. Some good answers might be my relationship, my son, my home, my body, my money, my whatever. <laughs> all those answers are wrong. They're all really good answers, and they're all really they're all uh, things that are that are. Uh, important on a certain level, but there's a root that's more important. What is the most important thing? That's, those aren't the most important thing because they're secondary to the most important thing. The most important thing is what permeates through all of those other things. And when this thing is, is um, realized, then all those other things flow in a whole other way than when they're not, when it's not realized. So what is this thing, right? What is the most important thing? I have it, you have it. What is this most important thing? The most important thing that I have and that you have is my attention and your attention. The most important thing that I have is my attention. When I start to, when I start to realize that, and when you start to realize that, everything starts to change, and this, this whole deeper level of empowerment comes into being. 
the most important thing you have is your attention. And that's the thing everybody wants. What does everybody want? The most important real estate is the real estate of your attention, right? Everybody wants your attention. Everybody wants my attention. It's the most important thing we have. It's the most essential thing that we have because whatever we give our attention to magnifies. Whatever we give our attention to magnifies. So the, the only question as you move through the day is what are you giving your attention to? What are you giving your attention to? What you give your attention to creates your reality, creates your perception of reality. So um, someone said to me the other day, you're really good at um, creating reality. So what does that really mean? You're really good at creating reality. It means you're really good at using your attention, right? I'm really good at using my attention. Because you have to, you have to realize everything is actually happening now, right? I wrote a book called The Wow of the Now, right? So everything, everything is actually happening right now. When you start to understand the way time really works and doesn't work, you realize that everything is happening right now. When you start to realize who you really are and who you're not, you realize that everything is happening right now. There's never anything that's not happening right now. It's always right now. It's never not right now. So if everything's happening right now, which it is, there's only one question left. Where am I placing my attention? Because everything's happening right now. I can put my attention on anything in the entire universe. Do you, do you get the gravity of what I'm sharing right now? Like the entire universe is available to you right now. The entirety of everything that's been created and uncreated is available to you right now, is available to me right now. The question is, where are we putting our attention? Welcome MH, Michelle, welcome Susan. Welcome to everybody on Instagram. Be here now, yes, we are here now. It's impossible to not be here now. So then the question is, where are we putting our attention? Where are you putting your attention? What are you putting your attention on? Are you, is your attention focused in a conscious, intentional, creative way or in an unconscious, unintentional, reactive way? Let me say that one more time. Is your attention focused in a conscious, intentional, creative way or in an unconscious, unintentional, reactive way. Where you put your attention creates your day, creates your reality, creates your life. That simple or that difficult, right? But it comes down to attention. Where you put your attention creates everything that seems like it's your life, that seems like it's your experience, that it's your reality is based upon your attention. What do you want to create? If anything's possible, what do you want to create? Where are you placing your attention? Are you placing your attention on what you want or what you don't want, right? On what you want or what you don't want. So then we can get into some other things that people threw out, love, right? Are you, are you putting your attention on that which fosters love and creates love or not? Are you putting your attention on that which brings inner peace and, and fosters inner peace or not? Are you bringing your attention to that which fosters joy, bliss, ecstasy or not? It's your choice. 
It's your choice, right? Are you giving your attention to that which is creative? Are you giving your attention to your relationship, to your body, to your health? to the evolution of your consciousness, to inspiration, to art. To beauty. What are you giving your attention to? This is the fundamental question. This is the most important thing you have. This is the most important thing we have. As human beings, this is the most important thing we have. Everything manifests from where we're placing our attention. And when I say everything, I mean everything. It manifests from where we're placing our attention. Like, the, the deeper you go into your own, con your own consciousness or into consciousness itself, the deeper this awakening of the realization of the power. Hi, Amanda. Good to see you here. When I feel bad, it's because I lost focus on me, says Angie. You, you realize that This goes so deep that you can be actually literally perceiving and giving um, reality. So you can be activating the reality of really anything in the entire universe based on where you put your attention. You can be activating the reality of anything in the universe based upon where you put your attention. So where are you putting your attention? Remember, everybody wants your attention. So who are you going to give your attention to? You're going to give your attention to people who mistreat you and, uh, you know, are judgmental and negative and hatred and all this other stuff, right? You're going to give attention to people who are loving and kind and open and generous and amazing and magical and interesting and miraculous. Where are you placing your attention? Are you placing your attention on those aspects of yourself, right? Which aspects of yourself are you giving attention to? To realize that you can put your attention in a conscious, intentional, creative way, and that creates your reality in every facet, every aspect of your life. See, there's really no objective reality. There's just where we're placing our attention. Where we place our attention becomes what's real for us. I'll get a lot more into that in future episodes because I, I realize that's a pretty earth shattering statement, but it's true. It's true. Quantum physics, the core of it really shows us that the, the observer and the observed are one and the very act, act of our observation changes and shifts that which is observed. So that's the liberating truth, the liberating realization. Thank you, Annie Marie. So you guys are doing good. You're all here. We're here together, which means we're giving our attention to the evolution of our consciousness and the expansion and the awakening of our hearts and our minds, the opening of self-realization, self-actualization inside ourselves and the world, to love, to peace, to inspiration, to empowerment. So you're doing good. I'm doing good. Let's keep it going. Throughout the day, stay focused in your attention in a conscious, intentional, creative way. If something's happening that seems like it's out of balance for you, it seems like it's out of alignment for you, where is your attention? 
instead of looking to immediately blame somebody else, point the finger at something else, the world, whatever that is, the world. This is the way the world is. It's not the way the world is. It's the way you are. Where is your attention? Where are you focused? All right? Throughout the day, conscious, intentional, creative attention. Have a beautiful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next now.